Hey guys, welcome to Dish with Doodash. I'm Michelle Doodash. Today I'm showing you how to make my oven fried onion bloom with a tangy dipping sauce. This is actually one of the most popular recipes on my blog and on my Pinterest. So I thought it's time to make a video for you guys. Now, if you're like me, you love the fried onion blooms that are found at a lot of those popular steakhouses. My version, of course, it's made in the oven instead of being deep fried. So we're gonna save big time on the fat and still have all of that flavor. Let's go. The first thing we do is cut our onion. So we start by cutting off a quarter inch from the stem end. Then we cut just the tip of this little hairy nub. You wanna keep that core intact because that's what will keep our onion bloom intact and prevent it from breaking into a thousand slices of onion. So now we peel the onion. So you just need to take off the first layer and by the way, these are great onion scraps. So you don't want to throw these in the garbage. What you do is put these in your freezer and you've got the base for a great vegetable broth. Now is where we get to cut it like a pie. And we're going to cut it into 16 wedges, but not all the way down. You want to have, you only want to cut to um, about three quarters of the way down the onion. So first I like to cut it in quarters. This helps you, personally, this helps me get the most even. Then cut, cut each quarter into half, and then cut each eighth into half. If you don't wear contacts, you are definitely gonna be crying. Okay, so now you can see we have 16 pie wedges. So now what we do is place this in a bowl of ice water, like so. And we're gonna let this sit for 45 minutes. After the 45 minutes, we have our onion bloom. So you can see that the little pieces are, you know, it's expanded. They've started to pull apart. They're a little, little relaxed. So we'll just drain this off a little bit. And now our onion is ready for breading. First we break in one large egg. Just beat it, just beat it, beat it on. Pour in our milk. And then we prepare the third step of the breading, which is the panko breadcrumbs. This is what gets it all crunchy and delicious. So we have some white panko breadcrumbs. I added some paprika. We have our garlic powder. This is a Cajun seasoning and some salt. And then we just stir that together. Then we drizzle in our oil. I'm using a little canola oil. You want it just to be a neutral oil, so it could be rice bran, it could be grapeseed oil. So we just drizzle that in so we have a nice, uh, it's gonna help get it nice and crunchy in the oven. Now that we have our breading station already, we can dredge our onion in all of this goodness. So I'm just spreading apart the onion bloom because then we want, you know, because we want all that breading and all that sticky stuff to get into the crevices. Okay, wait a minute, I changed my mind. Halfway through this demo, I've made this recipe before and actually I just came up with a new discovery, which is put the batter, duh, in a small bowl because then it's way deeper and you can just dip this. And I totally just remembered that. Hashtag the more you know. Okay, so now we bring it over to our flour. We're gonna dredge, this is whole wheat flour by the way. Now you could use, um, now we, we do separate this a little by the way. You don't have to get flour in every single crevice because you don't want a dough ball in the center, but you do, you know, if you, wherever you want breading, you do need to have flour. So that's pretty, pretty good. We're gonna dip, dip, baby, dip. Come on now, dip, baby, dip. And the final dredging of the panko. What do you guys think? Now we put it in the oven that's set at 425 degrees and we let this go for 30 minutes until it's nice and golden. Now, five minutes into cooking, I am going to cover it with some foil very loosely, just so none of the tips of the onion burn. Now it's time to make our tangy dipping sauce. So in here we have some mayonnaise, we have ground cumin, lemon juice, that's fresh lemon juice, of course, ketchup, I like to use the natural ketchup, and some Dijon mustard. So we just add all of that to the bowl. A little of this sauce goes a long way. So let's, let me give it a tip. Mm, that's tasty. Mm, mm, that is good. So I took this out of the oven. It's golden, it's crunchy. 
smells amazing. And that's how you make my oven fried onion bloom with tangy dipping sauce. Get the recipe at michelledudash.com or you can click below for the direct link. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I'm Michelle Dudash. Until next time. Mmm, so good.